Bonnie Garner's distinguished 40-plus year career has included concert promotion, record label A&R, television production, and artist management. A native of Milwaukee who was raised in Illinois, she graduated from Southern Illinois University. One of her first jobs was working with Playboy Press in Chicago at the Playboy Mansion on Hugh Hefner's staff. Are anyone else's eyebrows raised beside mine? I'm just saying, you start out with Hugh Hefner. Moving to L.A., she became talent coordinator for the syndicated TV show Playboy After Dark. Really, Hugh Hefner. She relocated to New York City after, or with ABC TV's Dick Cavett show. She then joined legendary promoter Bill Graham's Fillmore East just a year before he shuttered the club. Bonnie joined the A&R staff at Columbia Records New York as the only female A&R executive in the label's pop division. In the early 70s, she moved to Nashville to set up Columbia Epic's first Nashville pop division. 1973, she joined the label's country division as director of A&R, and in 1984, she was promoted to vice president of A&R, the first woman to attain that position at CBS Records, and one of the few in the entire industry. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> In 1987, Bonnie left CBS Records and joined Mark Rothbaum and Associates, later known as Rothbaum and Garner. The company managed the careers of Emmylou Harris, The Highwaymen, Chris Christopherson, Roger Miller, Willie Nelson, and Marty Stewart, among others. The two split amicably in 1994, and she formed Bonnie Garner Management, whose roster included Lynn Anderson, Leroy Parnell, Stewart, Joy Lynn White. She received a Grammy Award in 2002 for co-producing Timeless, a tribute to Hank Williams. She retired in 2007 to devote her free time to working with animals, and in 2009 received her certification as a therapeutic riding instructor. She now teaches horseback riding to children with challenges at Saddle Up. Yes. <laughs> Bonnie was honored at the Louise Scruggs Memorial Forum at the Country Music Hall of Fame in 2010, and later this year will receive the award of caring from actors and others for animals. Bonnie Garner and our other honorees are paving the way in this industry for those who are following in their footsteps. Ladies and gentlemen, a word from Carrie Underwood. Hey there, Carrie here. Congratulations to all of the women being recognized tonight for all their efforts and dedication to the music industry here in Nashville. To BB, Bonnie, Debbie, Donna, Jerry, Paula, and Sarah, because of your hard work, paths have been laid for women entertainers like me to be a part of this wonderful community. Thank you all for what you do and congratulations. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage 2013 Source Honoree, Bonnie Garner. Thank you. Uh, I made Celie promise before I came up here that she would not tell on me and I would not tell on her. <laughs> we go back a long way. First, I'd like to say Joe Chambers, the Hall of Fame is spectacular. Thank you. If you, haven't, if you haven't been through it, he has done so much to honor the musicians in this town, and that's they and the songwriters are the backbone. Now, I'm one, that's it. I, I promised I wouldn't ad lib too much, too. I am honored to join such an incredible group of extraordinary women. I've been fortunate to have had the opportunities, the so many wonderful opportunities that came my way to have had the people in my life who have mentored, helped, taught, and sometimes shoved me along. 
And this year's honorees are again talented, diverse, and I'm proud to stand with them. And I've not been bored any time, and I'm not done yet. Thank you. <laughs>